Hi guys and welcome to Gage Reviews and to this review of Spy. So once again I was super busy guys. It's one of these months let's say but now i'm ready with my review on spy and soon i'm going to see jurassic world so i can't wait to bring you that review as well and to enjoy this movie on imax but first spy so first of all i have to say that i love melissa mccarthy as an actress i like mikey molly i like her previous movies i really don't like tammy as you maybe see from my previous review i mean of tammy this uh, movie is a disaster it was terrible it was not funny she was annoying as hell but now in spy she really shines so spy is this action comedy that actually takes uh, itself kind of seriously because it starts like a James Bond movie. I mean, not only the scene and the setting that it starts in, but also the intro. It was with a James Bond, very similar music and uh, with all the effects and moving uh, technological stuff that they are showing in it it was pretty cool yeah and also the funny thing is that the movie starts in varna and varna is one of our huge and well not huge but most famous sea cities here in bulgaria because i am from bulgaria and uh, they made it so uh, it would seem that this is in Varna. I mean, they said it is in Varna, but I never saw anything like this in Varna. Not that I actually haven't been in Varna, but I'm pretty sure uh, there isn't such a uh, mansion there that it seems uh, just like uh, taken from a French, uh, yeah, from a French uh, uh, town, uh, sea city, anything. But this doesn't look Bulgarian at all. But anyway, regardless of whether they actually shot that, uh, in the movie they say that this is in Varna. And it's pretty funny because uh, uh, this is how the movie starts. Jude Law is uh, in cover and he goes around, tries to uh, make some I mean, diversions uh, to take the attention off of him while he is going uh, to track down uh, the person that knows where uh, one particular nuclear bomb is. So he goes uh, to this man and as you saw this in the trailer, he shoots him in the head uh, accidentally when he sneezes. But this guy that played uh, the real bad guy that knew where this nuke is is trying to speak Bulgarian and it's really funny because he speaks just like someone who never heard even Bulgarian and he just um, learned uh, the words and just the line itself just so he can say it but he doesn't really know what that means or how he should be speaking it exactly because Bulgarian is not a Russian it's not anything like Russian. Yes, there is some similarities between them, but our languages are in themselves totally different. So we understand maybe one or two words that the Russians are speaking, but um, and, and yeah, they understand some of our our words that we are speaking. But uh, Bulgarian and Russian are two different languages because we are two different nations. We come from very similar tribes in the ancient times. We have some connection, but it's not like yeah, we actually like cousins, but we are not the same people after all. Uh, but Americans very uh, oftenly mistaken us for Russians or too too similar to Russian and Bulgarian is, is, is like Russian but it's not. So it was very great to hear an American actor, I'm not sure uh, whether or not he's American, but he's certainly not uh, a person that speaks our uh, our language or similar to ours. It was very funny to hear him speak Bulgarian. Uh, and after that, of course, the main villain of the story um, 
Reina, I think it was her name, uh, Born Off, that is played by Troy Burn. She was Bulgarian also. And in the movie she speaks about a very funny story that uh, she uh, was looking up to this woman that uh, was like a street clown uh, of the streets of Bulgaria. She was very poor, she entertained people on the streets and this is just so ridiculous. I mean, this is painting a picture that just doesn't exist here. I mean, it's not like we have people that try to uh, look funny on the streets in order to make money. Yes, we have some people that uh, play on, on guitar or some other instruments. In Sofia, I mean in the capital of Bulgaria, uh, just in the center of Sofia, we have some of those things. Uh, some people are pretending to be crippled. But that is not on every angle and, and certainly no one is like a clown to impress somebody or anything like that. I mean, uh, we are not gypsies or something like that. So this was silly and funny. But anyway, I'm not going to play this movie or not be so accurate towards us. Uh, I'm kind of used to it now. I even played, um, yeah, when I was very, very little, I played James Bond game. I don't know what exactly was the James Bond game, but I, I, I was playing at my friend's house this James, uh, James Bond game on the PS2 and on the map, uh, where Bulgaria was, uh, it said Hungary, not Bulgaria. So that was a huge mistake. I, I was kind of laughing out loud and at the same time I was so frustrated that they uh, didn't even bother to look that this is not hungry. We are not even so close to hungry. Uh, we are between Greece, Macedonia and Romania but we are certainly not in or so around you could say hungry so we can be so easily mistaken with hungry but, but anyway anyway the movie is more important right now so the movie overall is great it's awesome actually i have amazing time i have to compare it with the heat though because the heat was this comedy that i was laughing all the time i mean in almost every scene i was so um i was so impressed and laughing so hard the whole movie theater was laughing, yeah, from the bottom of their bellies, you can say. So everyone was super entertained by it, I mean by the heat. And this movie uh, is funny, uh, it's pretty funny almost almost all the time, but not quite. There is a lot of action that is also funny and serious and there, there are some gross stuff that you can, you kind of don't expect from a movie like this, but the movie takes itself a little bit seriously which is also cool because it's something like you never quite seen before done in this way. So this movie is unique you can say because it has Melissa McCarthy, it has the incredible presence uh, of Jason Statham uh, who is funny as hell. He is hilarious and I want to see him to play more of this kind of role because he's great. Jet Law also is very funny and great um, and yeah uh, oops, to tell you guys, I mean, everyone did an amazing job. Rose Byrne was great as the villain, just awesome. She is so good at playing a stellar and very sophisticated uh, woman, very beautiful, that carries herself with an amazing uh, posture and... Yeah, she's kind of uh, inspiring, really. So, Melissa McCarthy's chemistry with all the other characters is great. Of course, uh, that actress from Mom, the TV show Mom, I forgot her name, she is great. She has to be in more movies, put her in more movies. Of course, she played the mother of Melissa McCarthy in uh, that previous bad movie, Tammy, but she is overall a great, great actress. I mean, Tammy wasn't her fault at all. She was amazing in it. And Susan Sarandon was amazing in it, although the movie was bad. Her lines and everything in this movie was ridiculously bad. But um, that doesn't mean that those three actresses are great. I mean, Melissa McCarthy, um, that, that actress from Mom, and of course, Susan Sarandon. Yeah, so everyone was great. I'm so pleased with this movie. The action scenes were great. The comedy was great. It was very clever. I can say that definitely. So from a scale of 1 to 10, for an action comedy, a 9 
out of 10 for sure. Great movie, see it on cinema or see it in home, but I suggest you support this movie because this movie has to have a sequel. It, it, it's just awesome. I, I just can't wait even thinking about it for a sequel. So support this movie if you can go and see it. Hope you like it. And yeah, yeah, let's have more great action comedies these days because I miss Austin Powers and not that this is like Austin Powers, but it has so much potential to be to be a franchise. So I'm very hopeful for this. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. As always, if you haven't subscribed to me already, uh, please, of course, do so if you want to see my future videos. And till next time with Getty G reviews. Best games for the best prizes on G2A.com and CityKeys.com If you like to subscribe, you can click the button to the right and you can also check out my gaming channel, GettyG Gaming.